It's like there's no tomorrow. Hey! Hi, my name is Julie Loken, and I am the founder of The Media Casters, where we find power in publishing, podcasting, presenting, and ultimately public relations. My secret sauce for branding, especially for authors. I know this can be a lot. I know it can be overwhelming because there are so many balls to juggle. The foundation of really creating your brand is to, number one, know what you are trying to be remembered by. What do you want people to remember you by? Meaning, what are you doing differently than anybody else in this world? Number two, you need to create that foundation. You need a solid website. You need a beautiful logo. You need something memorable, a tagline. Think about those things first before you take this branding journey to really create a presence that is so unforgettable. When you walk into a room, people will remember you and your book. And it's not all about putting your brand out on social media. It is imperative to have social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Don't pour all your energy into these particular pieces of land that you do not own. You do not own the algorithms. You do not own the content that is on social media. That's why it is so important to have a strong website and to start building your email list. The people that flock to your email list, who want to know what you are all about, who hang on every word that you say, are the people that are going to read your book that are going to hire you, that are going to recognize that spark that you do have. It's all about knowing, liking, and trusting. Once you are really sure about your brand, what you want to be remembered for, make sure you have a story behind the brand, especially as a nonfiction author, as a podcast host. A little bit about me now. I have three podcasts. I've written four books. I'm a contributor to Entrepreneur Magazine, as well as MindValley.com. And I know I need to have a story that isn't just about building brands, building your placement as an entrepreneur, getting clients, that sort of thing. I need to have a story, a story of how I got from there to here. And it needs to be compelling. And it needs, again, to be memorable. Think about that story. You guys are writers. You should be able to do this in your sleep. Your story should have those elements of something that connects with not only your audience, but the audiences of other people, like on different podcasts, radio show, broadcast media, in articles. Make sure you think about that story. What is compelling and what differentiates yourself? How can you really start disseminating your brand? Big question. How can you start disseminating your brand? Pitch yourself on podcasts. Pitch yourself to radio shows. Pitch yourself to local journalists. Make friends with journalists. You have to do your research first. You have to and that there are people that want to tell your story. You need to find them and you need to pitch them. How can you pitch these people? How can you pitch these journalists to be more memorable? And this is where your brand expands. You never want to sell you never want to say, buy my book, buy my book. So that's where we go back to the story, that you need to have this memorable story. Again, pitch journalists, do the research. I love to do a lot of research on feedspot.com. Feedspot is where I get all my information, see what's trending, what news stories are trending. Feedspot is a place where you can follow trends. You can see what's who your competitors are what is newsworthy because you always want to align your brand your story with what's trending and what's in the news like like the recession in, you know the pandemic the queen dying i just wrote an article for entrepreneur magazine on the queen the four leadership lessons i learned from queen elizabeth they picked it up right away in a hot second make sure you do know what is trending and what are on people's minds and how to relate your story your brand with what everybody wants to hear. Make sure that you pitch yourself either through email, very short, very deliberate, very eye-catching, make it personal and attach your speaker one sheet or media sheet. Make sure that you pitch a sheet that you can make so easily on Canva. I adore Canva. If you have questions about Canva, 
I'm happy to answer them, but you can make up your one sheet or media sheet with all your bullet points of your accolades, of your books, of your guesting, of your followers, of your community. You put everything that is wonderful about you onto this media one sheet so you can just send it off. Potential hosts, broadcast, podcast, radio hosts can just glance over it and see what you're about and find value in a conversation with you. That's the most important. You wanna add value. Your brand must add value to all the different places that you pitch. My final is court Google. Your brand needs to court Google. I know that we spend so much energy making posts and trying to get seen and followers on all social media. Google is really what drives business back to your website. You want to be searchable. You want to make sure you have keywords just filtered in all your content, especially on your website. I love using the Chrome extension keywords everywhere. It's very inexpensive it's in your Chrome extension, which is Google based, and it helps you do the research to find out what are those real juicy, delicious words that will capture the attention of your potential audience. SEOs are most definitely like chasing water downhill and it's ever evolving, but it's something that is so necessary. So check out keywords everywhere, or you can use Google to really do your research on what your people are searching for. And what you want to do is really build out a portfolio of your brand on Google. Google yourself. Have you Googled yourself? What comes up? I challenge you to Google yourself and see what images pop up, what interviews, what links pop up. It's all about the links. It's all about getting out there thinking differently, thinking outside the box. Once you are at the position, Google will make you a knowledge panel. Knowledge panel is so fascinating. I have a knowledge panel, which is generated by Google. It makes me an authority on what I do. It verifies me essentially on Google. Do a little research on Google knowledge panels. This is just the big, it is so fun just to think outside the box to make those connections. But remember what the most important thing is with your brand as an author. It's no like and trust and building relationships. Don't take the relationship out of what you are doing. That's what everything in life hinges upon. Building those true relationships. That's the key. Thank you.